Hello, you're watching iAfrica TV broadcasting from our studios in Banjo. I'm Dave Fatu Bangwa with the headlines this hour. Gambian popular artist and rights advocate Killer Ace plus 36 other youths have been given a month long incarceration following the resumption of their case before a lower court in Kanafin earlier today. The 37 men who were banned with an eight count charge by the police, including conspiracy to commit a felony, unlawful assembly, and prohibition of conduct conducive to breaches of peace. Lawyer Asan Martin, one of the lawyers representing the arrested youth, said some of the charges against his clients are not helping and need to be reviewed, saying remanding and denying them bail would only compound the problem. Let's take a listen. For us, um, as we last came here for the I mean, court sittings, we have already discussed with the prosecution for them to review the charges. Some of the charges are not helping they are not helping in the current situation this is what I mean the charges for I mean which are very I mean life sentence charges um, these are charges that definitely they won't help because demanding this I mean refusing them bail it will always compound the problem in our current situation my advice is that we I mean generally for them to review this is what we have discussed with the prosecution the last time that review the charges there are certain charges that will not help i mean the charges for you know that are carry a life sentence charge so it will not help in the current situation we have 36 young 37 young men who if they are remanded would not take well national assembly member for sarah Kunaka has asked gambia government to improve on its actions towards citizens when protest protest call rather it cannot put few people for a crime that is committed by many. If a said if thousand people protest, it would be hard to get hold of all of them at sport and put them in jail. Ngurginyo dig the Wahnalen Imam Gasia Kwao. One na len I woke up near the Fujuk. I knew the Juk. In a situation where a crime was committed by a lot of people. It is not right to select a few out of the lot to detain or remand just to scare the rest. When such a case happens, the right thing to do is create dialogue between the parties involved. When offenses are made, the people responsible should just face the law without any exceptions. It is the mind that protects and secures power. Those human minds need to be disciplined to ensure harmony in a country. Hong Kong Chief Executive Harry Lam and other senior officials earlier today attended a ceremony to commemorate the victory of the Chinese People's War of Resistance against Japanese aggression. They sang the Chinese national anthem at the flag raising ceremony where the Hong Kong saluted war heroes with 21 shots. 74 years ago, on September 2nd, 1945, Japan officially surrendered ending World War II. Over 100 migrants were allowed to disembark from a German rescue ship, Eleonora, on the Sicilian port of Pozzolo on Monday. According to medical staff members, most of the rescued are Sudanese, Nigerians, and a few Egyptians and Chadians, including children. The rescue vessel entered Italy's territorial waters over the weekend after declaring a state of emergency when it was caught in the a thunderstorm, despite Italian government ban on rescue ships to enter the country's waters. The Taliban claimed responsibility for a car bomb which killed at least five people in Kabul and wounded dozens more on Monday evening. Some of the wounded were rushed to a city center hospital for treatment of potentially life-threatening injuries. The first pass struck near the Green Village, a compound which houses eight agencies and international agencies. Gunfire followed in the aftermath along with the secondary smaller explosion. The explosion came as U.S. envoys Zalmeka Lizard was visiting Kabul to discuss with Afghan president. Ashraf Ghani, a draft piece according to which, which Taliban, which could see thousands of U.S. troops withdraw from Afghanistan. You are up to date and those are the headlines. More on these 
topics and other stories, log on to our website, iafrica.tv. I am Defat Bangra once again. Up next, Best of the Gambia.